वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल भाद्रास कुकिंग जर्नी इट्स टी टाइम एंड इन कैदा ड्यूरिंग टी टाइम विद चाय वी हैव लॉट ऑफ स्नैक्स मेदू वड़ा बनाना फिटर्स ऑनियन फिटर्स लॉट ऑफ स्नैक्स ओवर हेयर आई गॉट लॉन्ग बनाना विच आर यू मेड आउट ऑफ विच पायपोरी और बनाना फिटर्स आर मेड they are really crunchy and delicious so come on let us see how to make banana fritters or param puri so this is the long banana which i was talking about this is available in every south indian shop or in bombay you get it in matunga so this is the main ingredient of the dish and see this should be nicely ripe it should not be raw it should not be very very ripe it should be perfect see so that we get the sweetness of the banana also so come on let's see how to make it over here i am using three long bananas which are ripe one and a half to two cups of maida two tablespoon of roasted rice powder this is also available in every south indian shop and you can add sugar as per your sweetness but i am going to add Four to five tablespoon of sugar, and around one teaspoon of salt, and half teaspoon of haldi powder for the yellowness. Sometimes we add these black sesame seeds. Okay, around one to two teaspoon. So to make the batter into the maida, let's add the rice powder, roasted rice powder, and then four to five tablespoon of sugar, around one teaspoon of salt. Half teaspoon of haldi powder, then one to two teaspoon of black sesame seeds. Now I'm going to add one to one and a half cups of water. So I added around two cups of water, and the batter should not be too thin or too thick. It should be medium consistency. See like this. So I have used this cup to measure the water. Now we we'll let this batter sit for around five to ten minutes. Meanwhile, we'll cut this banana lengthwise. So I've sliced the banana and see they are lengthwise and they should be of medium thickness. And meanwhile, I put my oil for heating, and the oil should not be too hot or should not be. If it is too hot, it will burn the fritters. so it should be perfectly hot now to check if it is perfect we will put some batter and if it comes up see it is perfect now we can fry our bananas so first we will dip the bananas in the batter nicely and then in the oil again we'll do the procedure so like this we will fry the banana so it is basically like how we fry the pakoras the flame should be at medium flame Usually banana fritters are found in every small tea shop in Kerala and they are so delicious and if you want you can wrap them in a the banana leaf and leave it for about 2 to 3 minutes so that you can get the aroma of the banana leaf and it tastes so fantastic and when you eat it up next day when it is cold it is even better so it is nice when it is hot and cold So the one side has cooked. We have flipped it now, and we add the roasted rice powder so that we get a crunchiness. So our banana fritters are almost ready. See, you can see the golden brown color. Now we will take them out on a tissue paper. So the first set of banana fritters are ready. and the aroma has filled the house it is so nice see and now we will fry the rest of them 
while the second batch is being fried the tea is bubbling see we are going to have hot hot param puris with hot hot tea what an aroma you should really really try this and have this with your tea or coffee this is the best snack you can have it is really crunchy and delicious so do try my param param puri or banana fritters look at them they look so tasty right so do try them comment below if you tried it subscribe to my channel and like my videos and my next video would be in my new house as i am shifting so do try this and we'll be coming up with more new recipes till then bye